In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite red zone passing concept in all of Madden 22. This concept will beat every meta defense and will pretty much guarantee you a two point conversion or a touchdown on the goal line. Now, guys, I don't like to run the ball. I absolutely hate running the ball, especially in Madden 22. So I want to be able to pass every play. So this play allows me to do that. It allows me to play in these uh, kind of compressed uh, sections of the field and be able to score really easily. So the play is P boot over out of gun bunch tight in. And I'm really excited to share this with you because this is such a good play uh, for so many reasons. And we're going to show it to you in here in just a second. If you want to get my full bunch tight in offensive guide, I believe bunch tight in honestly is probably the number one offense. If you want to bomb, it's got the most powerful plays, the most powerful bombing plays that you've probably ever seen in Madden. So if you want to get my full gun bunch tight in offensive guide, you'll be able to learn how to bomb every coverage for a one play score out of the same exact setup. You'll also be able to learn how to easily just work your way up and down the field. It's a one-time purchase of $15 and that guide will continue to update as we find new route combinations. As the game gets patched and changes, we will be updating those guides. And those guys are getting ready to get a major update due to last week's patch on the cover three. So guys, if you want to get access to that guide, it's just uh, $15 and there's a link in the description below. All right, guys, here's our red zone money play. Gun bunch tied in PA boot over. Now everybody and their mom is going to think that you're going to run a um, you're going to run the ball. I guarantee you. Especially, I'm going to kind of show this as a two point conversion play today because it's the hardest. It's easier if you're on a hash mark. The play works better if you're on a hash mark. If you're not on a hash mark, it's not as good. But it is still really good. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to run this against shaded underneath man. And the reason why is because most people run shaded underneath man in the red zone. So here's how you're going to here's how you're going to run this play. We're going to slide protect to the right side, double team the defensive outside linebacker, put the tight end on a delay fade, and then this backside, what I like to do is I actually like to take that triangle receiver and put him on a flat zone or a flat route, and then I'll take that square receiver and I'll put him on an in route, a slant route or drag route, it's up to you. Uh, any of those routes will work. I personally think the drag or the in route works the best. And the snap of the ball, what we're going to do is our first read is always the circle receiver, and that's the best route on the play. Now, if you look at the route, it looks like a drag route, but it, you see how it slants? It's, 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 like a, it's like a combination of a slant route and a drag route. And actually in the red zone, like in this compressed section of the field, that route is going to go to the back corner of the end zone, which is really, really important for how this play is going to work. So here I'm just going to be in a standard cover three with the outside linebackers blitzing off the edge. And what you're going to see here and good old, uh, I don't know why that, I don't know why that happened. Um, occasionally, like just for whatever reason, the blitzing linebacker, I guess I didn't double team him, but he sometimes can just spaz out so anyway let me show you there's the proper blocking and that's what i wanted to show you so that's a hard flat that's a hard flat on the field and what happens is whenever whenever we run this like i'm showing you in this video the hard flats will suck down i don't know why i honestly don't um i think i think it's just madden being madden but it's very consistent. They'll literally always suck down. You see how they're sucking down and I can throw this right in behind. Now, not only will the flat zones suck down, but the 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 deep blue zones will as well. So you so they'll suck inward. So they won't necessarily always suck down. So now let me show you something like a Mabel. So I'm going to double flat to that side and I just want you to watch how this route works. So again, you see, he gets outside of everybody. I'm going to pass lead that back and like up into the outside. Uh, basically to the back pylon is where I'm trying to throw this ball. And as you see, that was a hard flat and a purple or a, a, a flat zone and a curl flat zone. And it didn't guard it at all. Um, now let me show you. Let me get kind of expand on this again. So now I'm going to go to man and I'm going to put two hard flats on the field. And this is really a number, like the number one way a lot of people like to play. And they'll shade underneath and everything. And what you'll see is this route combination is very, very good against that because the flat zone doesn't get back there. And I can just throw the ball with an up and outside 
uh, pass lead, almost like a fadeaway jumper uh, for, from the quarterback. So absolutely love this against that, that coverage. Now, that's not just where it stops. So what they're going to start doing is they're going to start usering that player. And this is where the play becomes like absolutely insane. So now what we're going to do is we're going to release our fade as soon as we cross the middle. So we're going to release the fade. And when he cuts to the right, I don't know what the heck Whitehead was doing. I think he was manned up on the running back, which is dumb that he was able to jump that. I could have waited on a second. Let me show it to you again. I've, that never happens to me when I run this in online. But let me show you. Um, let me show you. So again, I'm going to man that guy up just, so, just to kind of imitate the flow of a user. And what will happen is when that tight end does that cut to the right. And right there, I got a bad animation again. Let me show it to you one more time. Um, when he does that little that little cut, you could put him on a drag too, like a block and release crosser. But when he does that little cut, almost always he's going to be open. Now, we have other reads, and I'll show you the rest of the play in just a second. But this route is what I wanted to really focus on. So just right there, pass, pass lead to the right. And again, I'm getting really shamed by that safety that's in man coverage on the running back that is very unlikely to be in that coverage. And if that's the case, obviously we could just run in with the quarterback, or we just want to make him commit. So... You know, we can move this out, move the pocket, move the pocket, move the pocket. Now release. And there you see, oh, Carlton Davis somehow bagged me. Um, just put him on a drag if you don't want to do, if you don't want to deal with the flukiness of this fade. Like I said, normally this fade is wide open. You need, might, I might need to release it a little bit more sooner. I don't normally have to throw it anyways, but like right there. And then you see, gosh, Whitehead is just really driving me insane. You could just run the ball in with the quarterback too. You could, that's fine. Um, you can just run the ball in with the quarterback too. Uh, again, Whitehead, you know what? We're gonna put you in a, we're gonna put you in something, uh, something other than that. So, uh, just to kind of try to share that, you know, this is this is not. It really isn't something you're gonna see. And if you do see that, you can easily just run it in with the quarterback. And of course, now I'm gonna get sacked. Um, so anyway, the tight end route, let me just show it out of cover two, man. It's probably easier. Like I said, you could just run this in too. You know, if they're doing this, like just run it in, but you could also, that's what I was trying to show you. So that fade, even though the, and I, I got spied there again by the same guy, but the fade, what's going to happen is if you release it as you're rolling out. So like you snap, you come this way and then you release it. Watch this. See how he cuts like to the right? That's what I'm talking about. And that is really, really good against man, but it's also good against zone. Now, the other thing that's really good about this is let's say, so so what they're going to start to do then is they're going to take that away somehow. Um, typically, what it's going to mean is they're going to run to the crosser and then they're going to jump back to the tight end. So if that's what they want to do and they're in man coverage, that's where I love this route to Godwin. Absolutely love this route to Godwin because we're here, we're moving everything, and then we're throwing right there, right? Their user is going to be over by the tight end, and we've got space to easily throw that route coming back across the formation. Now, you might say, well, Cody, what about cover two? Uh, cover two could, you know, I think cover two could give this problem, especially if they manned up that delay fade uh, with somebody like a, a, you know, something like that, okay? So let me show you that. So not that pe people probably wouldn't drop this many people in the red zone, but if they did, take a look at your combo. Obviously, they're going to go over there, but look at this tight end route. And again, I got screwed by the stupid uh, corner, but you see, you see kind of the passing lane that we're opening up. So let's say that they're doing this, and they're going to use your circle, or they're going to use your Ed, uh, Evans, and then they're going to you know maybe man the tight end up with a linebacker or whatever. Okay, I've seen it. I've seen almost every coverage against this, and I've had success about 80 to 90 percent of the time. So now watch this. Obviously, the man coverage is up there, but look at that. See that man coverage can't guard that, and that's what makes this so good. Is they have to use our two routes on the play, which they're not going to be able to do. Now another setup that you could do if you wanted to, um, you could do this one as well. Okay, this one is good. It's, it's actually, this one is much better like for zone coverage. So if they're doing something like, um, let's just say they're, they're using just for 
example sake, let's say they're doing something like this, okay? And then, you know, this guy, let's just, I mean, we can leave him here, that's fine. Um, and let's just run like this. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna put square on a hitch. And that, if you're gonna motion him out still, but watch this, you're gonna see here that he's gonna sit in between those zones. So that's why if they're running, if they're running more of a zone coverage, now you've literally taken the whole horizontal space of the red zone or the end zone, and you have receiving threats that can hit every single one of those uh, positions. So for example, let me show you how this would look in a rollout situation. Um, so what you'll see here is I'm just gonna do this as you see, and then, like I said, I probably got this guy in something, right? Uh, if they're not just blitzing him, which they could be doing that as well, um, and you're gonna have great protection against that. But let's say that you get something like this. So now let's say I run my play, I run all my reads, nothing's there, I can come backside, and here's why. This is why I love this, this is why this play is so good. The zones will fade away from the hitch. So like the yellow zone, so like this guy right here is in a vertical hook. So you see here, he's playing the hitch. At this point, the hitch is not open. But then look, I'm gonna release this tight end route right about here, see he's going. And now for whatever reason, the yellow zone gets attracted to that tight end. Watch, he's gonna suck inward, just like that. Now I can come back all the way across the formation and hit that player. So that's why I really love this play is because you have so many different options in which you're going to be able to be effective. The worst thing that you, honestly, the hardest thing to beat, in my opinion, and this is why occasionally I'll make that a smart routed curl instead of a hitch, is, is because I'll let him set his feet. And the reason why is because against shaded down man coverage, if you let him set his feet, you're going to have a lot better of a chance of being able to throw that against man. See how the man coverage this year does do a decent job against this. Now, again, it said decent. If you have gunslinger and you have a ability on that receiver, like a short in or something, that's different. But again, come back to the play. And as you see, the, that's where I'm saying you, you want to have a gunslinger to be able to get that ball in there. If you don't have one and you're... Con you, Obviously, the other thing that's beautiful about bunch tight end, a lot of times you're going to know if they're in man or zone. As you saw, the corner moved. So, you know, if they're in if they're in this, you know, look at all these reads. I mean, that's so good. So, this play is really, really good, guys. It really is. And also, if they're in man coverage, because like I said, I think man is the one thing that could give this trouble. If they're in man coverage, think about this, though. If they're in man coverage, you're rolling out here. There's no one guarding you. Even Brady can make that play almost. Um, you see what I'm saying? So the, then they what they'll do is they'll maybe click, uh, they'll click that button to send the spy. So let me show you an example. So, so like in this example right here, I'm gonna go user Edwards or uh, Evans on that on that route. And then as you're rolling out, I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna send the spy. So they cut co you're coming out here, they send the spy, but look, now your tight end's wide open. So they can't really get you. It's, it's really hard to stop this play. It really is. It requires incredible user skill. And all the while, guys, you have other things you can do. Um, one of my other favorite plays from this would be to take that square receiver now and to put him on a flat and then take the running back and put him on this little in route and then run a vertical. Now this is really good because the running back can now threaten the man coverage. And the running back route is really, really, really good against man coverage. And then of course, as I say that, they run zone. So it forces them to run zone. If you want to run the running back on a route on this, you certainly can. So for example, you could do this, like exactly like this right here. And if they're, that way, if they're in man, then look, your running back is right in a really good position and it, it continues to open up that hitch. So, you know, there's a lot you can do with this offense. It's, it's peeping it over as one play, but there's so much you can do out of this on in really any area of the field. And it all starts with how good, of course I throw a pick, how good that route to Evans is. Now, occasionally you get that where he kind of freaks out, he gets bumped or whatever. That's very rare. Most of the time it's because they're in some kind of like a, like you saw right there, like a cover three. 
Obviously, I have so many other things open, right? I could throw my tight end route right in that little pocket just like that and get my touchdown. So this play is really, really good. Try it out. Let me know what you think. And if you want to get my full bunch tight end offensive ebook, there's a link in the description. You can get the full offensive scheme for just 15 bucks.